live. <coughs> we are live. Let's see. What's the synchronization like? Probably way out of sync, but oh, well, let's see how we go. Okay, Richard, Ernest, uh, Mr. Plumber's here, and of course, Greg. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for participating. Hopefully, today will be mildly interesting. Uh, let's see. Yes, we have 1466. Favorite type of machine to work on. And this one's got no backlight, but uh, it all looks very clean after I've taken the panel off over here. I have tested this one, and it uh, certainly is, seems to be no backlight. I do get some activity on the screen, but just uh, nothing to illuminate it. Much like. Oh, found it. That's what I was looking for. Right. Hey, Wade, uh, Richard, uh, Mr. Hook. I'll go suits and Christian is here no oh, in the commute uh, you're driving or you're on a bus or something yeah as I said I'm fairly sure there's oh man the microscope's not even active okay this will be fun it looks like my software isn't active I've got nothing running at the moment I'm rather spaced out at the moment been living off about two three hours of sleep a night at the moment and it's not good not good at all for the health uh, let's see okay Ah, you're on the bus, alright. Well, hey, you know, you never know. I know there are some people who will do in-car in -car, uh, viewing. Like if they stopped because of traffic jams or something. Right, I suppose the first thing we should do is remove this battery. Okay, so that safes that. Looks like someone has been scratching around here. Hopefully we have all our contacts, okay. That's good. There does appear to be a bit of a wash around here, wash effect, but I don't think that's playing into it yet. We'll just have a bit of a squiz around, see if anything jumps out at us. Hey, Def Pump. Oh, and House of Moths here, too. Welcome. Uh, no sleep because I go to bed late because I'm working and then at around about if I'm unlucky at 4 o'clock or so um, Milo decides that it's time to get up and do things so he comes into our room and he goes <coughs> makes noises like that all nice and loud and if we decide to ignore that he will then proceed to shove his claws up under the covers of the bed so going for your feet so you're like <laughs> and so I've uh, lost a little bit of blood lately because of that needs to say that ends up I usually relent get up get ready for the day have myself a cup of coffee and go take the little brats outside and um, yeah, go and watch the sunrise for the day again it's not really my normal sort of routine but it's becoming that way I'm just hoping he'll grow out of it sooner or later I'm hoping he'll realize the pleasure of sleeping in for many hours sink is out okay now uh, Wade yeah lock the door right yeah <laughs> That doesn't help. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, and we are back. Oh, Richard, well, good to know. Good to know I have the power of emulating animals sufficiently that it sends other animals insane. Yeah, so we're going to get this board out. We can't see any corrosion damage, so whatever it is might be on the underside, in, uh, in theory. 
Dave, I haven't finished watching Jason's latest video, his iPhone 10 one. I got about five minutes into it and then the plumber turned up and I had to leave my workshop so that the plumber could install the new hot water system. And unfortunately the hot water system is in my patio slash administration office. And I couldn't really be in the same room as the plumber was working. I just think it's a professional courtesy to not distract people or yeah, let them get on with their job and not be hovering over them asking questions or telling them how you've got a friend who's also a plumber and you think that this and that or whatever and yeah I mean really so be nice let the professional workers get on with their job they're not there to be your social buddy What you get to sleep with a cat? I'm doing it wrong. Don't even get half the bed. Cat takes the rest. Ah, yeah. Well, see, at the moment they have a nighttime enclosure area, and they do sleep out there most of the night. It's from about yeah, it's at eleven o'clock at night till four o'clock in the morning. Now, I would much prefer if it was close to five, but like I said, we're working on that. And it just seems. The trouble is that the enclosure isn't a big enough area for them to truly be happy in. It's, uh, it is a reasonable size area, but it's not the biggest area. And the other thing is I think they want to go out before the day break because they want to be able to watch all the birds as the birds come into the yard to yeah, get into the various trees and whatever, mulberries, things like that. Uh, let's see, get this. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but I don't care. And so they get pretty upset if they miss out on their morning show. To the point where the other day, um, this is the other reason why I haven't been getting much sleep. Uh, Milo managed to find a way out of the courtyard, the nighttime courtyard. Now I have patched that up because I was fortunate. I just sort of waited around after, because I, I went out looking for him, you know, to do a head count. And he wasn't anywhere. And of course, I went from calm to panic in about 0.2 milliseconds. Because if they get out of the overall enclosures, it's you, know, you just don't know where they're going because they're not used to being outside. And I don't want them to be used to being outside. Anyway, fortunately, because he so desperately likes to get up to the uh, what we call the wedge where they get to watch everything, that's the direction he headed, which thankfully he didn't go out of the property. Anyway, so I fixed that up. But when these events happen, it sort of leaves a bit of a lingering uh, insecurity, anxiety, things like that. Because you're never quite sure. You're like, mm, you know, is there another thing that they're going to try? So yeah, you've got to fight through that. So I've got three cats here. One house cat causes allergic to... Oh, it's allergic to flea bites. Oh, wow. One too old, and another one's a mother, and a stray we took in who can't make up his mind. <laughs> Sounds like a real mixed bag. All of ours are stray cats, so to speak, now. They're all ours. Okay. Now let's see if we can see any damage on the board. First, I'll see if I can actually get focus. Alright, we have focus. So let's go straight to the backlight. And boom, there we are. Interesting. So, looks like liquid has just come in, damaged the chip. And that's game over. But, since that's got a bit of liquid damage, there's a chance that other areas may be liquid damaged. So, we best go have a look around. Just trying to get an idea of how my focus is here. Because it can be very easy for you to end up with a couple of different 
spots of corrosion and not necessarily next to each other either but I'll be very happy if this is a classic type fault you don't get them very often most of the time it's just a damn rabbit hole that you waste days upon hours upon weeks of only to not fix it in the end but this one looks pretty good yeah all right what is the backlight chip called uh, this one it's the LP8550 Now, hopefully we don't have any dramas swapping this over. Oh man, this flux really is not the same. The V2, I have to say, sucks. Sorry, Lewis. The V2 is V bad. Well, there's a decent amount of corrosion in that one. Greg, I'm sure you probably can. I think Tim was going to sell it, except there's too many regulation issues in California. And so, rightfully, you said stuff that. Ah, oh, Lewis is actually signing the lease. Whew. That's some serious moves. Wow. Wonder what the liquid was, because it's actually inhibiting the ability to. There we go. I maybe should have washed it down with a bit of water and alcohol before I did this, but now oh well. Um, we've got track erosion so we might have to fix that up a bit we'll go digging anyway to see what's going on there and make sure man I've got to fix up this bench top so that it doesn't vibrate so much hey Rob Hey Bailey. Oh, get out, Ernest. Yeah, Prater, I actually did test this one. Now, oh, this really has eaten through quite a bit. I'm kind of curious as to what it was that, what the liquid was, the corrosion. Okie dokie. I think I need to clean my eyepieces or something because I'm having a hard time keeping this in focus. But I think the vibrating eyepieces from the fume extractor do not help either. I'm trying to find time to do all this is the hard part more than anything else yeah it's just a corroded backlight let's heat up this braid a bit first
perfect. Alright, we should be able to just drop another driver on there. I don't think I really have to do any other work. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest part of the work right now is to find the drivers. Ah, oh boy. Can't work out whether I put them into a special container or whether I didn't put them in a special container. Oh boy. There you guys are. I did put it in a special container. Oops. Yes, Rob, one six five. Uh-oh, someone's running low on the 85, 8550s. I do have my back order, but it's a case of getting it to... What do I think of Jim Jeffries? I don't think I know Jim Jeffries. Should I know Jim Jeffries? There are so many people I don't know that I supposedly should know. What are you doing, Paul? It's uh, just verifying where... Okay, pin one to the curve. Dave from EEV blog mentioned Tim. Wait, Tim from STS? Don't you mean Jason from SDS? It's either Tim from TCRS or Jason from SDS. Take a pick. Hey, Sonia. Oh, yeah, pure rosin is very nice. I think I just botched that up. I had a spasm when I was just trying to tap it and ended up more shoving it. But looks like we're we got away with that one. Half the problem was probably from the lack of mask around this pin on the side here, the ground, and it probably dragged it. Yeah, see how it sort of ebbed out a bit, and that would have dragged down the rest of the balls a bit.
I'll just check from up here. No, I need to pull that out. Drag it out so I can check these balls. It seemed okay. I think we'll be right. Suits, uh, slight brain farts, I think you mean lots of brain farts, yeah, big ones at that too. Alright, put this back in and see if we get our backlight. So yeah, I'm a little on the sluggish side at the moment. I can feel it. Yeah, you know, when you get too tired and you just do things slowly. And that includes not talking on YouTube much. I am still in the middle of my PayPal fight right now. It's not a major fight. It's more of a frustrating one. person decided that um, they bought my software and then almost a month later they decided to put in a dispute saying that I never delivered it as in I didn't give them a download or anything uh, in spite of the fact that on the website it says if you haven't got your license within five minutes to contact me but with a fine fine you know things can happen things you know life gets in the way sometimes so I send that off and yeah still not happy enough can't get it to work so I'll work through that get it to work and um, still not happy. It seems that they were expecting there to be board views and schematics, I think. But the person wouldn't respond to me very well. Like, I'd, I'd get their message, I'd respond in about an hour or less, and then um, I wouldn't hear from them for about a week or two. And they weren't really saying a lot on the PayPal dispute page or the resolution page either. So it's very frustrating when you get a person that doesn't want to communicate what their issue is. But frustratingly, PayPal actually sided with them. And so I had to raise a appeal, basically saying this is a load of bull. So they've got their software. They've installed it. I've got the pictures of it. They've just got a the perception of what they thought they were getting is wrong. Anyway, let's see if we get to uh, backlight. And we have a backlight. Very good. We weren't getting that before. We were getting that on the screen, but we weren't able to see it. At least not without a light coming through the back. Travis, you're what? Who's got... Oh no. Doggy that's been sick. She's a bit better. Sonia's that the... Um, oh, this is going to crash anyway. This is because it's MRI, but it's on a 165 instead of a 3437. So it will crash, but at least I know it's working. Alright, should have crashed by now. It has. Great. Fantastic. Well, I don't think we're actually going to have any other problems with it. This is a very rare event whereby it pretty much went by the book. I'm just going to plug in my High Sierra test. Man, going by the book. It's profitable, but it's boring. Yeah, Def Tom, that's what I've been doing. Oops, shh, I'm not supposed to say that. 
certain people, certain elite hackers will now go, oh no, I can totally hack that, bro. Yeah, I've been having fun with the hackers. I mean, they're not even real hackers. Uh, so it's very hard to have any respect for them. Like, you know you're dealing with someone serious when they rattle off, like, 50 different titles that they have and certifications and they talk about reverse engineering degrees and it's like I don't think there is really a reverse engineering degree that's actually in a proper degree so you might do it as a subject but not as a degree yeah, yeah. elite clubs very elite clubs so elite that they have to make sure they tell everybody that they're elite because the first rule of having an elite club is to always mention your elite club. Oh, uh, well, well, what's this? You shut down your... Your computer because of personal problems. Oh wait, no, a problem right there. Yeah. Not personal problem. <laughs> yeah, so it's this one is particularly famous. It's kind of like they are making such an impressive show of them how bad they are that they're becoming famous because of it, which is kind of amusing. Yeah, let's see, let's run some valley. Ah, Rob Brown, you got that sort of special club. Yeah, I've got the No No Lewis Club, like the No Homer Club. Sonia, I hope all goes well with your fair kids. I know it's very traumatic. I know it's extremely wearing, very taxing on you. Completely understand. Cool, it's all working. I don't think we're going to have any problems here. I think it's pretty much a done job. Ah, Christian, I mean, cracking is all good and well. And I mean, I've got no problem with people that do cracking. It's just that when you're dealing with the people who pretend that they're crackers, um, you know, they just pull out all sorts of random words. It's like going to a um, business meeting and playing, playing bingo with the words they use, like synergy and forward uh, projections and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And you know you're just dealing with a serious idiot. Okay, shut down, shut down. The ones that are really good pretty much say nothing. They tend to speak loudest by delivering on what they've been doing as opposed to saying what they supposedly are doing or how special they are. Alright, that's good. That's all done. Uh, I expect by now my website's probably hacked. Very elite hackers. So, job done. That's nice. You know, if you get one of these a day, then that would probably keep the doctor away. <laughs> Alright, let me kick back quickly, read the comments before I move off and do other things. Do you sell drives with software for testing to make sure your repair is solid? Like, um, no, I don't, but you can just download this stuff. Uh, that, this drive that I just used, that's just a MacBook install on, because you can boot from the USB stick, uh, USB port, it's easy enough. Ah, Fresh Techs Blackman. Fresh Tech Blackman, uh, you got tech in your name? Does that mean you're actually referring to tech latex stuff or just happens to be a coincidence there? Have you bought any new tools? Um, no, I haven't really. 
Like I said, the last thing I got was my tri-wing and I've been using that quite a bit now. I definitely am very happy with the tri-wing. I'm happy enough with all my Wira drivers that I'm going to go and buy a complete duplicate of them. The only Wira driver I didn't like was the PH000 one because it actually has a truncated top with very shallow screws and I haven't actually encountered any of those. What's this? Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the tri-wing Wira. And it is, it makes working on iPhone 7s and 8s a real pleasure now. So definitely worth getting one of them. They're expensive, but it's worth it. Have you ever come across a MacBook Pro that boots at 75% and then Apple logo bar disappears and system freezes at a grey screen? Mm, um, hmm. Either bad drive, bad OS install, or maybe bad GPU. Uh, bad. Uh, I don't know. I'd be running a RAM test on that if nothing else. Uh, pick my nose club. Oh yeah, uh, we're all a part of that one. Rabbit hole. That's probably the term for it. Yeah, I'd call that a rabbit hole. Uh. Alright, uh, look, I think I'm pretty much um, baked out at the moment. I know bake is normally a term used for when you're rather high or something like that, but I mean baked as in cooked, as in put a fork in me, I need to go get some sleep. Got the job done, I'm happy with that. Rudimentary sort of thing, and like I said, if you can get a couple of those a day, then you're doing well in your business, because really, while rabbit holes make for interesting YouTube videos, they make for terrible business, so, you know, you got to play the balancer somewhere. All right. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Blah, blah. Can I even speak? Thank you very much for watching. Don't let the dingoes bite. I'll catch you later.